All right, so I don't normally make videos, but I watched the Tesla Raj video and he installed the self-closing opening trunk on the Model 3, so I thought, hey, I could do that too, and I'm about done. I wanted to do a quick video on how I ran my wires. Um, eventually gonna put the control box behind here with the subwoofer. I am gonna run these wires here. Um, the tube here did not end up needing to clip the black zip ties. You can take that off and that comes out real easily. So just pop those out. Um, the Tesla offer guys made a new updated video with the new wires. Um, mine came with this white connector connected. He mentioned that you can actually take that off, so I actually did that. I had to put that yellow piece forward, and then I was able to get these pins out. My kit did come with these blue, white, green, black wires not connected to the white connector, so that did make it easy as well. And then so just running that purple wire, these four, and then these three wires up this tube uh, really wasn't that bad. Um, so that's a lot of this stuff you guys can see in the Tesla offer video. I'm not going to go over that. But from here what I did is I ran the power, the optional driver button, and the can wires. So I ran those all the way down the trunk at the front. Put it back behind here. There's those three wires right here. And ran those towards the front. Had to pop off one of the pins. Continued the wires here. Um, Tesla Raj did mention this is very easy to pull off, so I yanked that off. Continued the wires, did a little bit of electrical tape to here to connect these together. Then these three wires, I ran them under the seat, this way, under the seat, tucking here, and then down the front edge here, and then tucked them this way, and continued them forward. Again, continuing the three wires here. Again, the other videos do show how easy it is to pop off this piece here. Um, this is where it got a little tricky. The new updated Tesla offer video does show that you can put the power up here. Um, I went ahead and did that instead of running it to the battery. That was the trickiest part for me. Um, this came in handy. 10 mil. Uh, you got to get your hand up there. I didn't disconnect the power. Did not need to do that. Um, the power cable was just long enough. They give you plenty of slack for the the button, and I had quite a bit extra slack for the the cam wiring. But the the power wire, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it, but it was in fact able to to make it all the way to the front. Once you're up in here, you do have to take off this piece. It gets real tight. There is a connector. I believe it was beige. I disconnected that up there. And then there's a, another connector, a white one, that I had to pop off. And then that gave me the room I needed to loosen that 10 mil bolt so I could put the the power wire up there. Let's see what else. Uh, I do have the optional foot sensor. I did not completely take off the bumper. You don't have to. You can just have it halfway off and then have it hang down and you can put your hand in there and put the this foot sensor there so you don't have to completely drop the bumper all the way to the ground 
but there's still quite a few bolts you do have to remove to be able to get the bumper to uh, to come off is what is what you need. I did have a problem. This little clip popped off. Hopefully that stays on when I put this back together. The new video shows, actually it doesn't show, the new wiring diagram for the optional foot sensor. It was a little tricky. Uh, the, white, the white wire you don't use. The red one, you tap that into the power. So that was the power that runs to the front. But yeah, the, you'd use the blue tap for that. And then the green wire, I tap that into this piece here. Instead of running, you don't run the green wire up here like they used to show in their other videos. You basically, there's that purple wire. It's the same purple wire that's here and you can basically tap into that again this is for the optional foot sensor and then up there I've got the the ground for the foot sensor the ground for the power and that gray one is was already there from Tesla uh, the other thing the new Tesla offer video mentions is leaving these white clips alone but popping off all the the green clips and putting them onto the cover so I went ahead and did that a couple of them broke but the nice thing is they do include extra green clips um, so yeah so not not too difficult just a lot of steps and Very, very exciting to have this done.